Waking up this morning and seeing Table Mountain coming out the mist, and um, that was a great feeling. And, and um, you know, I'm really proud of all the guys on the boat. They've sort of got me here, really. I've learned an awful lot from particularly the senior members on the team. And 25 days went pretty quickly hanging out with these guys. Talk us through this, uh, this the collision that you had. Well, we went bump in the night. I mean, we, we'd had sort of three or four pretty heinous days, and we were just about through it. And uh, we just jived back to try and uh, get in touch with Ericsson 3. Uh, it was about 1 1 30 in the morning. I was down below, and we literally just, when we hit something, we went from it was about 25, 30 knots of winds. We were doing about 20 knots with the spinnaker up, and we, you know, we just went to zero boat speed. Neil went through the wheel, and uh, everybody fell over on deck, but fortunately, no injuries. And uh, the guys down below all slid along their bunks and generally ended up one bunk forward from where they started, and Freddie at the front went into the bulkhead. Um, so yeah, we hit something, it's done a bit of damage obviously to the bottom of the boat which has slowed us down the last 2,000 miles, but you know, my first reaction is, you know, we're going to be in the life raft here, so my first reaction was survival suits and, and life jackets, and I was typing out the mayday to the duty officer while everyone was running around, what was going on? Um, but fortunately it didn't come to that, you know, the boat's built with stronger stuff than that, I'm pleased to say, and um, yeah, we're well, still here. Ian Navigator to Green Dragon, welcome to Cape Town. Thank you very much, mate. It's good to be back here. Fantastic. Yeah, last time we chatted to you, we were sailing the uh, Quantum boat in the TP-52. It's a very different experience, this. Just a little bit different, yeah. You know, uh, <coughs> the TPs, we get to you know, do an afternoon sailing somewhere in the, you know, some nice venue. And here it's 24 days of rough and tumble, you know, with a Volvo 70. But um, they're fantastic all the same. First leg, uh, Ali Kanta to Cape Town, very much a thinking man's leg, if you want to put it that way. I'd like to think so. <laughs> no, it was, um, it was a good, uh, good tactical, really good mix, this leg. First, the whole first half of it was very, very tactical. And the second half of it was a bit more sort of boat speed and gruntiness. And, and uh, I think we did, we did ourselves proud, especially in the first half, where we obviously um, you know, got the first place at the scoring gates. So we were really pleased with that. Yeah, Ian Walker said you pulled the rabbit out the hat and uh, you managed to get uh, plot a course for West and then uh, take the lead and uh, and hold it for quite some time. What was uh, what was going on in your thinking there? Well, to be honest, it was a group thing, a group decision. It wasn't just me on my on my own. But well, we we did sort of make the conscious decision. We looked at the weather and we thought we could see that the, the whole pack were going to try and sort of sail each other. We saw a real opportunity to actually sail what the what the best course would be, and it meant paying quite a lot in you know distance to the mark. It looked like we were like in last place, but we knew that you know eventually it was going to come good. Well, we we were pretty sure it was going to come good on the on the western side of the course and it, and it did and it came just enough to um, to get ahead and, and to, to, to be first at that scoring game so it was pretty pleasing to come out and, and get those points. We're talking to Guachan, media crew member aboard Green Dragon, also known as the Human Cannonball. <laughs> that's, a, that's a new name for me. <laughs> it's, I don't think it's a name that's going to disappear very quickly. I think it's going to stick with you. Uh, people are going to remember your experience. Can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, yes, that's uh, funny. Uh, yes, the test story is funny. That, that day is a really big wave. Uh, by the better day, I tried to take photo uh, just uh, at the hatch, hatchway, and suddenly uh, it's a, it's a, the boat almost stopped. And I threw away to the front door of the front door of the of the uh, of the boat, and nothing happened. That's that's lucky. I'm nothing happened.